ladies. Sorry I have been MIA. Um, it was just a busy week for us last week. Um, and then on top of that, being lazy doesn't help. <laughs> um, but I am here. I am 19 weeks and... Sorry, my hair is like all crazy. It's like super windy outside. Um, I am 19 weeks and... What is today? Wednesday? So I'm like 19 weeks and 5 days. So almost 20 weeks. Almost halfway, guys. It's crazy. Like, it's going by super, super quick. Um, so as far as symptoms go, nothing new. Um, really actually have been feeling pretty good, except for I'm just tired. Um, the last couple of days I have not been sleeping well. I've been having problems. Even with my snoogle, I'm still having problems. Um, I'm sleeping for a few hours and I'm waking up and tossing and turning. And i got to get up and go pee. Um, so that's not fun. Um, still hungry all the time. Um, I haven't had any more of those round leg my pain, so that's been really nice. That's been good. I don't like those. Um, I have been getting a lot more headaches lately. Um, so, I don't know really what that's about. Not fun either. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it because I sit in front of a computer all day. So, that might have something to do with it. Um, but... Yeah, there's really not a whole lot going on. Um, and it's weird, and I'll show you guys, I'll do a belly shot at the end of this video, but I almost feel like my tummy got smaller, if that makes any sense. Um, and I definitely know it's in the morning, it's definitely way smaller, and then as the day goes on, um, but it seems like it gets bigger and bigger, but it still seems smaller than it was. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe because I'm eating less at each, I don't want to say sitting, <laughs> this doesn't sound right. I shouldn't have sittings of meals, but I'm not able to eat as much. When I do eat, I eat a little bit and I'm full, and then but a few hours later, like an hour or two later, I'm hungry again and I'll eat something else small. So that's um, definitely been an adjustment because I'm used to sitting down eating a big meal. I love to eat. So that's why I'm a chunky girl. Um, but let's see. Enough about that. So last week. Um, I worked, and then I had Friday, I took a half day, and we went and had our appointment. Oh, I just, like, got really yellow. Do I need more lighting or something? What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Um, so, I took a half day, and me and my husband, my husband took the day off, and I took a half day, and, um, we went to our appointment, and I was so excited, because I was like, oh, I'm, like, almost 20 weeks. I was 19 weeks exactly, um. And, you know, I'm going to be able to see more, and no. First of all, I didn't re the ultrasound tech was nice enough, but it wasn't the same woman that we saw the first time, and she was really good. Um, she seemed a little bit more experienced than this girl. Um, and on top of that, my daughter is extremely st stubborn and would not move. And she was, like, positioned in between my, her face was positioned in between my uterus and my placenta. So, so it didn't even get really any good facial shots, which kind of sucks only because, um, I think I had mentioned in another video, um, we are not planning on doing, um, a 3D ultrasound, like an elective one, I guess is what you call it, um, when you're like 30 weeks, you know, and you can kind of see what the baby looks like and all stuff, um, where we live, um, it's about 100 to 150, depending on what package you get and how long and all that stuff, um, and although I think I would like to have it, I don't, I really can't justify spending that kind of money, um, when I would rather, honestly, I'd rather spend that kind of money on newborn pictures or our first family pictures or um, just there's other things because, I mean, although it is really cool, but, you know, it's, to me that's a lot of money um, for that. When I get an ultrasound, I get a regular ultrasound every appointment. So that's another reason why I'm just like, I don't, you know, I get to see her once a month. So, and as time goes on, I'll get to see her sooner, like every two weeks and every week or whatever. So, I just can't justify spending that much money because I get to see her. I know she's okay, although it would be cool to see what she looks like before she's born. She's going to look the same whether I see her at 30 weeks in my belly or whether I see her on the first day she's born. Um, so, for us and our family, it's just not something that we're willing to spend the money on. So, I was really hoping to get some decent pictures of her at this one because this would be our last, because this this one, where they send us, my doctor sent me to another clinic um, that just does ultrasounds, and so they do a 3D. So I was hoping I would get um, some decent pictures, but like I said, I didn't. She didn't cooperate, and I don't think the ultrasound tech was um, not the best. She wasn't horrible. She was really nice and sweet, but 
she wasn't very talkative and neither. she showed us what she could and um there was one thing they couldn't see and they said I could come back in a couple weeks if I wanted to but I'm like I don't really want to because every time I go even though it's not completely free because I pay copay plus I pay some co-insurance so I'm like I don't need to come every time because I still have to pay um, I need to find out, I should find out on my next appointment what I'm going to have to pay for my percentage of the doctor for the delivery. So there's too many things I have to pay. Um, there's still some stuff I want to get for her. So I'm like, you know, if, it's, if my doctor says no, absolutely, you have to go back, then I will. Obviously, I'm going to do what, you know, if it's something super important. Um, but she said she would leave it up to me and my doctor. So hopefully he won't send me back because I don't want to have to pay again. And... Like I said, honestly, when she's not moving, it's kind of boring. I mean, it's awesome to see her, and I love to see her, but she was I think she was asleep. Or she was not happy with me, because she just did not move. She was just shoved up in there, and she did not move. So we didn't get to see really any movement. There was only a little bit of movement in the very beginning, um, and that was it. So, you know, and it was, I don't know, it's like a 30-minute thing that they're doing, so... Like I said, after a while, I was just kind of like, can you just get your measurements, lady, so I can get out of here. Plus, I hadn't eaten lunch before because I got off at noon, and my phone was at 1.45, and we had an errand to run, so we went and ran the errand. Um, and I figured we would have plenty of time to eat, but by the time we got stuck in traffic because there was an accident on the freeway on the way to the place, so we didn't get to eat because we were going to eat somewhere around there. So I was freaking starving. It was just hotmess.com. It was, it was a hot mess. So, but anyways, I will show you guys, um, I just took the two best pictures, because I just said we really didn't get a lot of good pictures of her this time, so, that kind of stinks, but this will, I'll show you the ones that we did get that I think are the two best ones that we got. So this one is her little profile, I don't know if you can see her little nose and her little arm, so there's not too much of a glare on that. And then this one is a 3D one. So I'll show you guys. And so you can see her arm is like underneath her chin. And this is my placenta. And this is my uterine wall, she said. So she's like shoved up in there. And she was not trying to come out at all. So. But you can see her little face. And she does, she has her dad's nose. It's so funny. I mean, it's still really early. But she does definitely has her dad's nose. She does not have. I have. It looks like she's going to have her dad's lips too. He has really big lips. I mean, who knows, I guess, it, you know, she's still so tiny, but I have smaller lips, and I have, like, a little white girl nose, like, it kind of, like, I look, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of, like, points up, and my husband doesn't, he has more of a flat, wider nose, so she definitely has his nose, that I can tell. Um, but yeah, so it was nice to see her, like I said, and see her heartbeat, and, because I have not felt her kick, what the heck? I, all these books and all these women that I go, like I go on Baby Center and whatever and read people's stuff, I don't really post anything. Um, and all, so many women have felt the baby kick already and I have not felt crap. And I don't know if it's because I'm fat and I have the extra layer, um, or what the heck. I asked about my placenta and she said it's to the back so that wouldn't affect her not being, me not being able to feel her kick. Because I've seen her on ultrasound kicking and moving. So, I don't know, either she's just really calm, or I'm really fat, or she's really tiny. I don't know what it is, but I want to feel her move. I'm already almost 20 weeks, and I still have not felt my child move. Or if I have, I didn't know that's what it was. So, I'm getting frustrated with that. I really want to feel her move. I want to feel the kicks, even if it's just a light tap. I haven't felt flutters, nothing. And if I have... Because um, I mentioned it to the ultrasound and she said there's, you know, usually for a baby, it's 20, in between 21 and 23 weeks is usually when you feel it. Um, and that bond placenta is in a perfect position, so that shouldn't affect it. And um, she said the baby's measuring right on target, like she's not measuring small. Um, so she said, you know, just to give it time, which is like, okay, yeah, whatever, I don't have a choice. Um, but, uh, like I said, I don't know. I just want to feel her move. I just would, I have, I didn't, like I said, I haven't felt any flutters or anything. Or if I have felt them, I guess I've been busy at work or doing other things and I just didn't recognize it as that. Or I thought maybe it was gas. I, I mean, how do you describe flutters? <laughs> I don't know. It's, to me, it's kind of weird. So I just want to feel an actual, excuse me, an actual kick. Um, let's see, what else happened? We worked on a nursery on Saturday. We got up and we taped it all off. Well, my husband did. And he painted it. Um, so that was fun. 
No. I'm lying. That was two weekends ago. Three weekends ago. We, um, put up her border. We put up her border, and I had a wall decal, so we put that up, and I had some other little decals that are like ladybugs and, st and flowers that match her bedding. So I put a few of those up, and I painted her name, and we put that up. Um... Let's see what else. Oh, we ran out of border. That's fun. Um, so we had to. Oil, we drove around like three different babies R us and Baby Depot, and nobody had it. Um, so we ended up having to order it. So it takes, and it says it takes two weeks to process or whatever. I don't know. So thank God we did her nursery early because I would hate to be the last minute and be frantically trying to get get this stupid thing, the border. But so that should be here, and when that gets here, it's only one wall short. So I guess that's nice. We just need to do one wall when we do get it, and we'll have extra, of course. Um, but yeah, so her room is definitely coming together. I only need to, there's only a few other small things I need to get her. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that once we get the other border. And then we put up the one wall. Um, but yeah, so everything's coming together. We're just trying to get ready for her to be here. I know we still have plenty of time, but it just feels like so close. Um, and then I will show you guys quickly um, baby bites for the week, for the last two weeks. And I actually did really good because I only bought her one thing. And, I mean, you can't pass up a deal like this, but it is, I got it at Target, and it was $1.98. And it's um, nine months, so it's big, but it's a three-pack of onesies. And it says, I have a play date, and then this one says, cutie on the go, and it's like pink with um, white polka dots. Or no, light pink polka dots. And then it has this one that's like flowers. So, I mean, for a three-pack of one of these for $1.98, I couldn't pass it up. So, like I said, it's nine months, so it'll be like June here. So, it'll be freaking hot. I live in Phoenix, if anybody doesn't know. Phoenix, Arizona. It's like a biz Right now, it's really nice weather, but it's usually a billion degrees by now. And then my mom, we went and did my registry um, on Thursday. Uh, Babies R Us. Me and my husband did Target together, and he didn't want to do Babies R Us because he knew I'd be in there for hours, which I was. Um, but I went with my mom, so that was fun. So she got to get be involved in it, and she bought her. They had all the clearance codes. Was buy one, buy one thing, get another thing, 50% off. Um, so she bought her. This is three to six months. And it's so cute. It's red, and it says "My First Christmas," and it has like a little bow. You probably, probably see that on the little wrist, and then it comes with a little um, matching hat with the frillies, and it has like the frillies all along the side. So super cute. So she'll be able to wear that on maybe Christmas, um, Christmas Eve for bed, and then it has a ruffle butt. I love a ruffle butt. So we'll probably put her in that um, Christmas Eve night, so she'll wake up Christmas morning with this on probably. You'll probably see it in a video, I'm sure, when she's here. And then she bought this. This is so freaking adorable. I love this thing. Oh, that one was, let's see, the Christmas one was $4, and this other thing was $9. So she got the other, the Christmas one for like 2 bucks because she had to pay full price for one, and then the other one 50% off. But I freaking love this. It's, uh, you know, it's like the jacket. Like a jacket thing, jumpsuit thingy. And it's light, light pink, and it's super fluffy and soft, and it has a real, um, like a cotton interior, so it's not like vinyl or anything. It's really warm, and it has a little hood, and it has a sleeve that you can, um, you can have them be a regular little sleeve, or you can fold them and they can be like the mitten, the covered. And then it has a heart on the butt, a little fluffy heart, a little white heart. So freaking cute, and this is zero to three months. So, um, so this will be good for her because, like I said, she's born in October, and the end of October starts cooling down, and then it's going to be November and December where, when it's cooler. So she'll definitely get some use out of this. I mean, I don't know that. Hopefully she'll be able to wear it up till three months. That would be awesome. Um, but I'm sure I'll have to buy her something else because in January and February, it's still pretty cool. Um, but that is it that I have for you ladies. I'm so, so sorry I was late or skipped a week. Um, I will try to do better. <laughs> And, um, I will see you guys next week. Okay? Bye! Oh, belly button. I'll do a real quick one. There you go. 20 weeks.